And now, Bubble Trouble. Written by Margaret Mahi. Illustrated by Polly Dunbar. Little Mabel blew a bubble, and it caused a lot of trouble. Such a lot of bubble trouble in a bibble-bobble way. For it broke away from Mabel as it bobbed across the table, where it bobbled over Baby and it wafted him away. The baby didn't quibble, he began to smile and dribble, for he liked the wibble-wobble of the bubble in the air. But Mabel ran for cover as the bubble bobbed above her, and she shouted out for Mother who was putting up her hair. At the sudden cry of trouble, Mother took off at the double, for the squealing left her reeling, made her terrified and tense. Saw the bubble for a minute, with the baby bobbing in it, as it bibbled by the letterbox and bobbed across the fence. In her garden, Krista Gribble had begun to cry and cavil at her lazy brother Griffel, reading novels in his bed. But she bellowed, Gracious Griffel! And she groveled on the gravel when the baby in the bubble bibbled bobbled overhead. In a garden, Folly Tibble and his jolly mother, Sybil, sat and played a game of Scrabble, shouting shrilly as they scored. But they both began to babble, and to scrabble with the scrabble, as the baby in the bubble bibble-bobbled by the board. Then crumpled Mr. Copple, and his wife, a crabby couple, set out arm in arm to hobble and to squabble down the lane. But the baby in the bubble turned their hobble to a joggle, as they raced away like rockets, and they've never limped again. Even feeble Mrs. Threeble, in a muddle with her needle, matching pink and purple patches for a pretty patchwork quilt. When her older sister told her, tossed the quilt across her shoulder, as she set off at a totter in her tattered tartan kilt. At the shops a busy rabble, met to gossip and to gabble, started gibbering and googling as the bubble bobbled by. Mother, hand in hand with Mabel, flew as fast as she was able, very troubled lest the bubble burst or vanish in the sky. After them came Grivel Gribble, in his nightshirt with his novel, all about a haunted hovel, held on high above his head, followed by his sister Krista, though her boots had made a blister. Then came Tibble pulling Sybil with the scrabble for a sled. After them the copple couple came cavorting at the double, then a jogger, quite a slogger, joined the crowd who called and coughed. Up above the puzzled people, way up toward the chapel steeple, rose the bubble with the baby slowly lifting up aloft. There was such a flum a diddle, Mabel huddled in the middle. Canon Dapple left the chapel, followed by the chapel choir. And the treble singer Abel threw an apple core at Mabel as the baby in the bubble bobbled up a little higher. Oh, they giggled and they goggled until all their brains were boggled as the baby in the bubble rose above the little town. With the problem let us grapple, murmured kindly Canon Dapple. And the problem we must grapple with is bringing baby down. Now, let Mabel stand on Abel. Who could stand and turn on Tibble? Who could stand and grivel gribble? Who could stand upon the wall? While the people from the shopple stand to catch them if they topple. Then perhaps they'll reach the bubble, saving baby from a fall. But Abel, through a treble, was a rascal and a rebel fond of getting into trouble when he didn't have to sing. Pushing quickly through the people, Abel clambered up the steeple with nefarious intentions and a pebble in his sling. Abel quietly aimed the pebble past the steeple of the chapel at the baby in the bubble, wibble wobbling way up there. And the pebble burst the bubble, so the future seemed to fizzle for the baby boy who grizzled as he tumbled through the air. What a moment for a mother, as her infant plunged above her. There were groans and gasps and gargles from the horror-stricken crowd. Sybil said, Upon my honor, there's a baby who's a goner. And Krista hissed with emphasis, 
It shouldn't be allowed. But Mabel, Tibble, Gribble, and the jogger christened Neville didn't quiver, didn't quaver, didn't drivel, shrivel, wilt. But as one they made a swivel, with the action firm but civil, they divested Mrs. Threeble of her pretty patchwork quilt. Oh, what calculated catchwork! Baby bounced into the patchwork, with his grizzle turned to giggles and to wriggles of delight. And the people stared dumbfounded as he bobbled and rebounded till the baby boy was grounded and his mother held him tight. And the people there still prattle. There is lots of tittle-tattle for the glory in the story, young and old folk golden gray, of how wicked treble Abel triple troubled with his pebble, but how Mabel and some others saved her brother and the day. <laughs>